Here we have zero dimensional pong. You know pong? People thought they were there was one dimension too many and they made one dimensional pong games. I don't have one, but I think that's still mm -hmm. one dimension too many, so I made a zero dimensional pong. If you look closely here. Yeah I cheated. So I made the LED pluggable. You can plug in only one LED, so it's true zero-dimensional Pong and not multicolor zero-dimensional Pong. But the problem is, um, if using pulse width modulation, uh, it's very easy to tell when the LED is off and it's very hard to tell when it's fully lit. So I made them flip-flop. So that's that way you can cheat by checking if your opponent LED is fully off. So this is the game. You could use this one that's from an old TV, that one that's a modern RGB LED. Um, this display a young me bought like 25 years ago without having a clue what to do with it. It's three and a half digits so that only can display a one. Um, that's a difficulty setting. You can go all the way up to nine. You should at least. Sometimes it skips. Sometimes you have to press twice. So, um, that controls the speed, among other things, like, okay, if I go like, uh, I can see that it's fading really quickly from, from red to green. If I go back, you can see it goes much slower. So, it does two things, it's like, one thing is how, how wide is your paddle, so... Of course, you're not going to make the exact uh, microsecond when the LED is fully lit, or the opponent LED is fully off. You can think, you, you can think of it as a one-dimensional Pong. You're looking, like if this is a one-dimensional Pong, you're looking at it like this. So, um... So let's start a game. So this is this one has to uh, hit when red is fully lit or green is fully off. This one has to hit when uh, green is uh, fully on, red is fully off. So okay, I hit this time. Ah, oh, too late. Yeah. Again. Ha! See that? That's the cheat detection. You could, of course, just press the button repeatedly, and then you get this middle tone. Which tells you, hey, you cheated, your opponent gets a point. Then, there's this little glitch there. Where it, like, registers twice. Okay, let's just uh, let it run out. was kind of lucky. So there's a there's a space where the button doesn't react at all and there's a space where you get a where the opponent gets a point for you cheating. And then there's a uh, there's an, an area where you hit the ball. So So yeah, it, it does that. So, okay. Um every other difficulty setting like all the even ones uh, just they, they get gradually faster and on the odd ones the speed in which the ball uh, ricochets depends on how far to the uh, to the home position you hit the ball so like okay you got a margin of this to hit the ball if you hit it like here the ball is gonna go back very slowly and the, the opponent has an easier time to hit it back and if you hit it closer to, uh, as close as possible to the, the to the 
end position it goes much faster. Um, first is, oh, that was too late. That was too late too. That was a bit early. That, you can see that was a little bit faster now. Ball's moving a little bit faster now. Same problem as the Pong console, the, the speaker doesn't always work. And now, look how, how freaking slow it moves now. Yep. So yeah, that does work and now it's faster. And I would like to play through the camera because this LED is so insanely bright. But it's actually lighting blue. Oh, I think I got penalized for cheating now. But oh, that was too late. Again too late. Hey. Would you like to play a game of Pong where you can go blind from, from playing? Try this. But at least, yeah, it's it's got a blue. <laughs> it's it's blue and red like the buttons are. Sorry, but this is a, this is a junk bin build. And by the way, this this jumper here uh, is if if it's a common anode or common cathode. So where did I put the one from the TV here? Yeah, look how pathetic that is. And it goes to 15 as the original Pong does. You heard that beep, low beep, and it stops beeping. It still goes, this, this thing always runs. But yeah, this display was waiting like uh, 25 years uh, for someone to use it. And now I finally found a use for it. And I may, of course, made the difficulty setting here, so this digit shows something else than a 1. The dot says it's uh, in difficulty mode. And this, by the way, is a slightly or orangish yellow.